Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be beginning the uh, updated version of my original AMD Catalyst uh, install video that I did about nine months ago. The process has changed a little bit, so I'm going to go over it again. It's going to be a little differently, and there's a few things I'm going to go over, a few bugs I'm going to go over, and um, things you need to know before installing it. First and foremost, um, this is not Windows. You're not required to install this driver. Um, by default, Ubuntu will ship on most Linux distributions in general. I'm going to try to make this more general one than last time, so not just Ubuntu specific. But um, we'll ship using a open source driver that supports 3D rendering and everything you need except OpenCL. And if you don't know what OpenCL is, you don't need it. Um, that will work not necessarily as well as the AMD proprietary drivers, but it may work better, may not depends on really what release, what bugs, what really is going on in your life. So I can't really tell you what will work better, but I can tell you um, if you are using the open source driver, there is a bug that needs to be fixed with radio when you're using HDMI audio. So really quickly I'm going to show you how to fix that. So sudo gedit um, etc default df and then grub Enter your sudo password. Um, what you need to do is go into the command line Linux thing where my cursor is. Um, Radeon audio uh, equals one. And then if you put that, save it. Click save. I'm not going to save it because I don't use this, so I'm going to close it. But then um, sudo update grub grub, and then restart your computer after running that command, and it'll detect your audio normally. Um, so, now we're going to get into the proprietary driver. So if you've decided you're going to install a proprietary driver, um, the sound works in that one just fine. So, don't need to worry about that. Um, the current version, 14.9, uh, has a few bugs um, that I'm going to go over. Uh, the dual, if you have dual adapters, it says your screen is not supported. So, it when you try to do ATI config, if you don't know what that is, we'll get to it later. Um, it'll say your screen is not supported so it won't configure your xorg so if you don't have a configured xorg um, that won't work and at the time of filming this video conveniently you can install the 14.6 drivers and those will work just fine if you have dual adapters so install the 14.6 drivers first and then the 14.9 drivers and that'll work out just fine and it'll just use the xorg that was already there so I haven't had a problem with it so um, I'm I'm updating from the 14.6 to the 14.9 drivers right now. Um, at the time of filming this video, none of these drivers support Ubuntu 14.10, even though it's been released for about a month now. So, sorry, unicorn lovers, it's not going to happen. Um, the 6700 series, I have no idea what's going on with this. Um, in the release notes, it says 6000 series right there. And the 6000 mobile series right there are supported, but every time, well, I don't know about every time, but a lot of the time when people try to run the installer, it says no graphics supported. And in that case, um, the best thing you can do would be um, go here and hope that the repository for the additional drivers is up to date and will work with your distribution. Um, so you can use like the repository here, click apply changes and then reboot. Or I think you have to do I've never done it this way because these are often out of date. So uh, if that happens to you, I'm sorry, can't really do anything about it. Um, the other problem is uh, when you're installing it says uh, can't find Loki XML.sh. Um, I'll provide a workaround in the description for that and um, that workaround was provided by Scott Walter in the comment on my previous video. So shout out to Scott, thank you awesome been helping me a lot um, the third thing I wanted to go over before getting into the meat of this is um before asking a question in the comments please check the other comments to see if your question has already been answered because I ended up answering a lot of the same questions multiple times so please do me a favor and check before you um go into asking the questions check and see if it's already been answered the comments in the last video were fantastic a lot of the questions were answered and there were some people that also stepped up and answered a lot of questions for me so I'd like to help where I can but if that someone else already answers it and it works really well go with that and if you have an answer to someone's questions please answer it um, that's what it's all about helping other people so let's get that done 
And now we're going to get into the brute part of the installation. Um, I'll be referencing a couple pages. Uh, you can find them in the driver. Um, the first one is the unofficial wiki, which I got right here. Um, and the second one will be the release notes. I won't really link either of them in the description because they're found here um, on the driver page. So um, the unofficial wiki gets updated every now and then, so the link won't always work. And then the release notes change with every release, so can't really help you there. So we're going to determine the graphics cards where we have. So it's going to be LS PCI and then oh man okay LS this is why we use grep PCI um, and then we're going to use a pipe and then grep VGA all caps and then that'll tell you just your graphics cards like mine R9 270X same two cards as last time those are still supported so now you got your graphics cards and you got the list of the supported ones um, next you're going to download it and then extract the file um, I'm not really going to help you with that. If that's too complicated for you, um, this, the rest of this tutorial is too complicated for you, and you should just stick with the open source drivers. Um, downloading and extracting a file is pretty simple. So we're going to get to now. We're going to get to the fun stuff. So we're going to get. We don't need the internet anymore. I'm not going to reference this for a little bit. Um, so sudo apt get update. If you've been using Linux or Ubuntu for more than a week, you've definitely used this. Um, or if you're not using Ubuntu, I believe it's RPM dash something. I don't remember exactly what RPM is, but I'm trying to make this more general. So uh, try to use the equivalents. Uh, so then after we do that, we're going to do sudo apt get dist upgrade. And yep, so I guess I got everything updated. I already ran this like five minutes ago, so I really hope I have everything updated. I got some of the stuff I can remove though, so maybe we'll do that some other time. Okay, so before we do anything with the installer, here's the really fun part. Er, we need to install a lot of packages. I might just edit this part out because it's going to take a while. So, depending on your version of Linux, there's this will change a little bit, and I'll tell you how I got all these at the end of the video. Or actually, I can tell you right now, really quick. Um, in the release notes, or in the release notes for every Linux distribution, these are the recommended packages. You don't necessarily need all of them, but there are some of them you do need. So I'll go. You'll see me install those. And then um, this one, you need to go to your distribution, and it'll show you the kernel modification packages. Um, like we're going to be installing all of these in DKMS. So you need to, if we're building a distribution of a specific package, which we are, we need to have all of these installed. So um, those will be included. Alright, so now I'm just going to type a bunch of stuff and probably not talk unless I'm talking to myself. Okay, well, I spelled a lot of things wrong. In the end, make sure you spell everything right. And, yeah, okay, that's a lot of stuff wrong. Um, yeah, anyways, I know they're already installed, so I'm not going to do it again. I spelled a lot of stuff wrong. We're just going to pretend that never happened. Okay, so, spelled a lot of stuff wrong. We're going to get over that. And now we're going to change directories into the downloads folder. And in the downloads folder, you will see the FGLRX folder um, for me. We're going to change directories into that folder. We just hit tab to autocomplete. Okay, so, now with the advantage of it being a zip file before, uh, we can now just have executable files so we don't need to change the mode like we did before and then just hit tab to autocomplete um, sudo dot slash will run the file as long as it's in the current directory so sudo dot slash and then the file name and boom alright so now this is up generate distribution specific package easiest way to do it so continue um, click that continue Alright, I know there are a lot of people out there that are like, oh, we should never install proprietary software on Linux. Well, just pretend this is your ex-girlfriend. Except it happened, and get over it. Okay, so, build packages for Ubuntu Trusty, because I'm running 14.04, so, obviously, I'm going to run this. Alright, now, uh, AMD has done a great job here of making progress bars essentially useless. Uh, this, this will not move, neither will this. Uh, your total progress will stay at zero until it's over. I don't know why this... this whole screen right here is useless. I would like to see something like a smiley face or something happy to see me instead of two useless progress bars in the future. 
I will likely edit this part out as well because it takes a really long time. All right, so that finally finished. Um, drivers complete log files in USR share ATI, so the share folder for it. If you want to build the view the package log, well, forgot I even had this installed. Anyways, um, it says everything is generated successfully, so that's good. Um, exit this and now it's going to be the greatest thing that ever happened um, do you want to install generated packages yes you do click yes now we don't have to do any of the tough stuff we used to have to do with dpkg and installing it so that's really nice thank you amd this is wonderful okay so building kernel modules and it looks like it's going to build with no problems which should be good because this, this is a pen driver i've already installed before so Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so, there we go. That's all installed. So, now, before we reboot, it's really important that we run ATI config. So, sudo ATI config, or do this as root in your distribution. So, um, sudo ATI config dash dash initial. And then, if you have multiple adapters, um, adapter equals all. Uh, this is gonna. There we go. So it says found primary FGLRX device, and it says unable to find supported screens. Uh, so the XORG in this case for me is not supported. Um, if you have multiple devices, I believe is when this fails. So if you have multiple devices, please install like a different version of this driver first. If it's the 14.6 are still available, install those first using the same instructions, and then um, then install the 14.9. So, um, it's just going to use, in my case, it's just going to use the XORG that it's already been using from um, the 14.6 version. And that's fine because it works just fine under this situation. So, now that I've done that, um, yep, I just need to reboot. So, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, so here we are on the other side. I'm going to open up the terminal really quick. And... Uh, everything worked out really well for me. So if there are any packages that um, you didn't install um, that said uh, could not do this, did not meet dependencies or something of the sort, um, sudo apt-get install-f will fix that. It'll install all the dependencies. And um, I would recommend just reinstalling it again really quickly just to make sure that everything works really well. Um, I didn't have any of those, so I'm not going to run it. Um, what's next? To run the... Um, Catalyst Control Center from the terminal. Uh, it's uh, the command AMD CCCLE. And then you enter your sudo password and bam. Okay, so uh, display options. It's got both of my cards detected. Uh, when you first get here, it's going to prompt you to just click apply immediately. So do that and then reboot. And then when you reboot, then you can start changing stuff around like what you want to do with any of this fancy fandango stuff like crossfire and all that so um, that's gonna be the conclusion of this video if you like this video you can show me some love and hit the like button uh, if you didn't like this video um, I'm sorry not really um, so um, yeah otherwise just like and subscribe this video if you have any questions please ask in the comments and if you have any answers to anyone else's questions in the comments please answer those helps everyone out Alright guys, thank you very much.